Hey, what's up guys? You've got Lightning here, back at you guys with another video. This time we're on the live Season 8 preseason, um, going through some Aurelia runes. Um, I want to go over the rune pages that I think um, are so far the best. Uh, so, the first one we'll be using, uh, what most people will be sort of using with Aurelia, um, using the Precision Tree. Now, I think the two viable uh, keystones here is, is Press the Attack and Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo... Um, you know, after 1.5 seconds after damaging a champion, you gain 30 to 80 percent attack speed based on level th th for three seconds. Attacking a champion extends the effect to six seconds. Right, cooldown is 10 seconds, which is fine. Um, only problem I have with this rune is after you say if you initiate with a uh, say you queue to a, a minion to reset it and then you stun someone, after your stun uh, wears off, that's when you sort of that's when you're getting your attack speed from right after your stun wears off that's that's the problem i have with it because once they are unstunned you know they'll generally retaliate or run away or, or dash away or whatever flash i don't know um so there's potential to have very limited effectiveness with this with this keystone um but i think this would be better into like uh like tank matchups where they they're not going to expect the burst of attack speed um, and they'll sort of just tank you, try and tank your damage and walk away. Um, I think this will be, yeah, more of a tankier, um, like versing tanks, maybe like, I don't know, Shen or uh, even like Cho'Gath or Gali or someone like that, right? That's just going to sit there and fight you and eat your damage. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but for more, for more, uh, like fight, like versing like fighters, like say, Fuyo or Riven, things like that, I think, I think press the attack is better. So once you hit the uh, enemy champion with three consecutive basic attacks, it deals 30 to 120 bonus adaptive damage based on level and makes them vulnerable, increasing the damage they take by 12% from all sources for six seconds. Now, that does not include true damage, only physical or magical. That's, I've looked it up and apparently that's how it is, um, which I, I understand. But um, <clears throat> I just, I think this is better versus, uh, you know, more fights, fighting style uh, champions, yeah, like I said, like Fiora and those sorts of things, because they'll generally try and all in you, but, you know, they're not that tanky, so, you know, they, they um, doing that extra 12% from all sources for six seconds um, is generally how long it takes to, you know, 100 to zero someone, generally, right? So, at this stage, I think press the attack is the way to go. Uh, for this particular room page, anyway, um, but I think it's I think it's a case of choosing the keystone in in the, in the priest uh, the the champ select lobby uh, based on who you're versing. Anyway, uh, moving on, triumph. Um, so takedowns restore fifteen percent of your total. Oh, sorry, if you're missing health and grant additional twenty five gold. Now I think this is good for snowballing. Obviously, um, I think I will go to this view because then I can go to the other uh, runes. So if you if you're in a favorable matchup, you might want to take this because you know um, it's it's good in team fights too. Like takedowns, you know, restore fifteen percent of your missing health, um, <clears throat> and grant the gold. So when you if you're snowballing, you get say three kills in lane magically. That's that's you know seventy five gold plus you, you know you get fifteen percent of your missing health. So it gives you that chance to also push the lane in and and you know have that extra health. So you may not get uh, you know killed by the jungler or something while you're trying to push the lane in. But I, I think that either this or overheal, uh, overheal definitely. Um, if you're in a lane where you just wanna, it wouldn't be good in a ranged matchup. But I mean, in a matchup where potentially there's not a lot of fighting happening, it could be good. And also, I think it's quite good late game with the honor rally. So you, you know, you normally build about late game, uh, between three to three thousand five hundred health. You know, so you're getting about you get about three hundred. Uh, you know, excess. Uh, shield at the by like by late game right so I don't think it's too bad but in lane I, it's not that great I mean well you get like a 50 you, you, you get like a 60 70 shield you know but um but late game you get you get you know like 300 uh, 400 shield which is quite good you know um so I think it's worth uh taking overheal it's more reliable than than this right because there's no guarantee in any game you're going to get kills right um Presence of mind for five seconds after getting a level or takedown. Any mana you use is fully restored. I don't. I don't like this. Um, the only time I could think it would be viable is if you get a surprise 
uh, level up on someone of like a curie set on a minion and then you want to all in the the enemy right so but i just again that's unreliable you can't say every game you're gonna oh yeah well, as soon as i hit six i'm gonna jump in i'm gonna all in the other, other team you know <laughs> like it doesn't work like that i th i feel like overheal's the most reliable key uh rune, rune for this for this line here um so that's what i'll be going with most of the time unless i know i'm in a favorable matchup and i'll, I'll probably use triumph uh we've gone legend alacrity so this line here um you gain three percent attacks um you know you gain stacks based on a legend stacks for every champion takedown if it wants to take down large kill or minion kill so this this one here is for attack speed uh you gain three percent attack speed plus plus an additional 1.5 for every legend stack you have max 10 stacks so you get you get three plus 15 18 percent attack speed uh maximum uh tenacity five percent tenacity plus 1.5 for every legend stack which is maximum 10 again same amount well five plus the 15 would be 20. Uh, legend bloodline uh so you're eight percent light 0.8 percent lifesteal for every legend stack maximum 10 stacks so again i think i should, i just feel like alacrity is better just because you get attack speed throughout the game and that way you don't have to build um for those of you that ever ran like 29 percent attack speed in your old runes um i think this makes up for that as the game progresses uh last one uh coupe de grace uh so that's oh the, the, these ones are pretty interchangeable right so you, this one is basically um like good for executing so 10 percent more damage to champions who have less than 14 percent health uh additionally takedowns on champions grant adaptive bonus damage of uh adaptive bonus of nine attack damage or 15 ap for 10 seconds Adap adaptive damage is um so if you've got more AP than AD, the way I understand it is if you've got more AP than AD, uh, bonus AP than bonus AD, then the adaptive damage will be, you know, the, the ability power. But if you're a Rallyer and you've built like a, a AD item, um, say a Triforce, um, you know, you, you'll get the 9 AD because you've got, you're building more AD. That's the way I understand it. I haven't looked into it too deep, but that's as far as I'm aware, that's how it works. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that, by the way. Um, so cut down is 4% more damage to champions with 150 more max health than you, increasing to 10% at 2,000 more max health. Now, I feel like this is good versus tanks, because generally, <clears throat> if I'm versing a tanky team, you know, you're, you're more likely to build something like Blade of the Rune King. Well, I don't really build it that, that often, but, um, you know, most of the time tanks have, uh, what do you call it? tanks have you know ap scaling like shogarth galio you know then they have they have an ap jungle or a mid laner you might you might want to go like what or something so then your max health won't be going up as fast as theirs but generally they'll you know late game they'll have like five thousand health or something stupid like that so you're still going to be able to deal quite a bit more damage to tanks so i think cut down is really really good versing those tanks that are just gonna build tanky and be unkillable this is increase this damage increase is, is quite is quite good I think because early on they're gonna have more health than you. Their first item is generally gonna be a health item, whereas your first item is generally gonna be other boots. Well, it could be a phage, but you know you might build Sheen or, or Stinger. Um, so I think early on it's still good because you know you still get the four four percent damage with one fifty more max health than you, um, which is which is quite good in my opinion. Uh, last stand, deal 5-12% to 12 increased damage to champions while you're below 60% health. Max damage gained at 30%. Okay, so, versing champions that are going to fight you a lot. Um, like, for example, in a Riven matchup, right? Uh, she might start to combo you, get you low, but then you just basically turn turn the fight and you stun her and combo her right in her face after she's blown all of her cooldowns. Um, that That's that's like just a simple example. But... I feel like these are these three are really interchangeable um, for any matchup. So if you're versing a tank, you know you can you can change to cut down. If you're versing like a um, someone that you're going to snowball off, you could use Crypt of Grace or Last Stand. You know, uh, depending on the matchup, you might want to you might want to use that too. Anyway, moving on to the secondary tree for this rune page, we're using Domination. Um, I've picked Cheap Shot, which is Damaging champions with an impaired movement or action deals 12 to 30 bonus true damage based on your level. 
cooldown is four seconds, it activates on damage occurring after impairment. Okay, so what does that scream for earlier? E auto, guys, E auto, and you get that free 12 damage, level one. True damage, by the way. So, giving with, with cheap shot, I don't feel like any of these other ones are very good on Aurelia. Um, you can't, these three up at the top, you can only use one of these, otherwise, I would have probably used a sudden impact. Uh, with with this, but I feel like this. Well, I don't know, because ten lethality and eight magic penetration for five seconds is quite good, and it's got a four second cooldown. So it's it's definitely either cheap shot or sudden impact. This this is really good for Q resetting and um, you know snowballing. I think because as you get stronger and more ahead, your Q does you know more damage because you're higher level or whatever. But cheap shot just hit because you really efficient trading in lane and I, I think it's up to you guys to choose really you got taste of blood here here when you damage an enemy, enemy champion the healing is 18 to 35 plus 0.2 bonus ad 0.1 bonus ap uh based on level oh sorry 0.1 ap right uh, health based on level so i mean it's okay i suppose if you build 100 ad what do you build on a rally like 30 30, 60, I mean, you might build 100 AD on a rally if you get like a GA. Um, so it'd be like 20. So, you know, not bad, but 20 second cooldown, I just don't like it, you know? So I feel like Cheap Shot or, or Sudden Impact is really good, but this this is more efficient. This is really efficient um, because it gives you that early early training. You don't want to just randomly queue into an enemy just, just to do more damage because you've got more lethality. Um, you could die. But, but, you know, you always want to e-auto. So, you know, I think it's just too efficient to, to pass up to, to one of these, or to one of these anyway. Uh, second one uh, for the secondary tree is Zombie Ward. So after killing a ward, the friendly Zombie Ward is raised in its place. Additionally, when your ward expires, the every animate is a Zombie Ward. Zombie Ward is visible, lasts for 180 seconds, oh, and don't count towards your ward limit. Now, this is really good because people normally ping... Um, or in high elos, they, they ping, you know, oh, yeah, he plays the ward at three minutes, it's going to be expired by six minutes, or something like that, right? So, <clears throat> or it'll be f if they place it at three minutes, it'll be expired by, oh, they only last a minute, don't they? Yeah, they only last a minute. So, you know, they, they can ping that, but if you've got the zombie ward, you know, that just, if the jungler does come top and sits in that bush, yeah, he'll be like, oh, shit, you know, he's got the zombie ward. So I think this is really underrated, and you don't really want to, once you've got one of these, you don't, any other rune doesn't really fit Aurelia very well, in my opinion. You guys can look around it if you want, but I prefer Zombie Ward. I think it's really good. So that's the first rune page there. I'll go to another one. Oh, no, I don't want to save. This is the second one I looked at here. Um, you can, again, you can use Press the Attack or Lethal Tempo. It's basically the same. Only thing different is the secondary tree, right? So uh, we're using Resolve. Uh, which again gives gives the 18, I don't know if I went over that in the first page, but you get 18% attack speed um, because I've got resolve or precision is my primary, which is based on attack speed and things like that. So if I was to go with um, whatever my secondary is, I still get the 18% attack speed. But res this is with the resolve tree. So all this is doing is um, giving us sustain and lane survivability, that sort of thing, right? So uh, as far as I can see, conditioning is is better than mirror shell and iron skin so iron skin five armor right heals including consumables increase your armor by five percent temporarily oh hang on i've got i want to show the details right so so heals for at least 20 health and shields increase your armor by five percent for three seconds so i think is it your w at level four or five that that will give you the the, the increase but You've got the oh yeah, sorry, and you've got the mirror. Uh, sorry, the magic resist version here. But conditioning after ten minutes, you gain eight percent armor and eight. Oh sorry, eight armor and eight magic resist, and increase your armor and magic resist by five percent. See, I think that's too good to pass up to these two personally. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna go conditioning. I think that's the best one here. Um, what else have we got? Second win. So after taking damage from any champion, heal for four percent of your missing health plus six over 10 seconds. So I think that's really good versus the range matchups that were with, paired with the Doran's shield, potentially. Um, could be really, really good. So I think it's more for survivability, getting out of laning phase, um, just surviving the lane and just keeping your health up. 
Um, that with you know press the attack and the other ones we talked about here. Um, that's the other one, the domination one is more your you know snowbally page I suppose, but um, this one's more for just getting out of the laning phase, survivability, that sort of thing. And I want to say if I go over the last one that I want to talk about, I just I'm just experimenting, right? So I think a few other people have looked at this, um, but I've got glacial augment in the um, <clears throat> in the inspiration tree, so. Glacial Augment, basic attacking a champion slows them for 2 seconds. The slow increases in strength over the duration. For melee attacks, they slow by 40-50%. to 50 And slowing a champion with active items, shoots a freeze ray through them. Freezing the nearby ground for 5 seconds, slowing all units inside by 50%. Now, the cooldown is 7 seconds at level 1 per unit. Scaling down to 4 seconds per unit. I think, I think it's quite interesting, because it lets you really all in people especially given the other things we've picked here uh, if we go look at what we've got um, we've got biscuit delivery uh, gain, a, gain a total biscuit of everlasting will every three minutes until 12 minutes biscuits restore 15 percent of your missing health and mana consuming any biscuit increases your mana cap by 40 mana permanently quite good uh, champions without mana restored 20 percent missing health instead now i like this because uh you, you can start Doran's shield with one one uh, potion, <clears throat> and then you can get biscuit delivery and get four biscuits. Wait, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, four biscuits until twelve minutes, one every three minutes, to help you with your sustain. I just also it gives you mana. So you know if you're in a like a Jace matchup, you might want to take Doran's shield, and you also get to take take biscuit delivery. Um, and then, you know, you get one every three minutes, so it helps with sustain, helps with mana, that sort of thing. Or you can just sell them if you... <laughs> I think you can sell them. <laughs> but uh, but I think it's quite good, you know. The other ones are useless on Aurelia, in my opinion. I mean, there's there's Hextech Trash... Hextech Flash Traption. <laughs> but I just don't think it's good. I mean, you've got a blink, uh, and you've already, you've already got your Q and, and your Flash. I just... I don't know. It, it might be useful, but I mean, I, I just personally think this is better in this particular tree here. Uh, magical fl footwear. So you get boots at 10 minutes. Um, you can't buy boots before 10 minutes. And then each takedown, you acquire the boots 30 seconds sooner. So the boots that you get at 10 minutes, um, they have an additional 10% movement speed and upgrade for 50 gold less. So you're getting the, the free boots with 10 extra move speed and they upgrade, upgrade for 50 gold less. So that's 350 gold you're saving. Now, as a Relia, you want to really get your Triforce and not spend money on boots. So this helps immensely. You can get your power spike with Trinity Force a lot sooner than you think. So this is the best one, in my opinion, for this line here. There's Futures Market, which you can enter debt to buy items. That's good too. Although the boots gives you more. You normally buy boots, you know, early game, is, is Irelia, well, with your Triforce. Or you, or you have, or at least tier 1 boots anyway. But with Futures Market, you're looking at plus 5 gold a minute, so by... Um, the tenth minute, you can only get two hundred gold. So I think the boots is is, is better. Uh, minion de 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 dematerializer. Uh, so you can use your minion dematerializer to uh, you start with six of them, right? So you can use them on minions to kill the minion, and then you deal you permanently deal extra damage to that minion when you attack it and that sort of thing. Uh, we don't really need that at all. Cosmic insight, five percent CDR, max CDR, summon a spell CDR, and item CDR. Again, could be useful. Aurelia, Aurelia loves CDR. Could be good with your um, Titanic Hydra uh, active item, taking the CDR down slightly, ever so slightly. Uh, but I've gone with Approach Velocity. So you gain 10 movement speed towards nearby ally champions that are movement impaired or enemy champions that you impair. All right, so that with the Glacial Augment um, and your E. Uh, so you could slow, stun with your E and you gain the movement speed for chasing. Right, so that's basically the gist of this page. You can see it already, what it's about, right? So we move on to the secondary one. We're using precision. Now I want to point out, so far from what I've seen, every other page, uh, primary and secondary page, only gives you one, um, <clears throat> one sort of, you know, extra ability here, right? So you've got, see here you can see the 20% potion and elixir duration and 20% attack speed. But if I use like um, the domination and precision, 
and I, I don't get the I don't get the uh, attack speed. I get AD or sorcery and precision. Uh, what do we get? Again, AD or AP or even resolve and precision. Uh, you know, I get 130 health. But if we go, um, <coughs> what I was on, so glacial augment, da, da, and da, and then we go precision. We get two. We get two abilities here. So the twenty percent potion and elixir duration. Now think about how good this is with your biscuit delivery. Also, if you wanted to go um, corrupting potion, you can use corrupting potion and biscuits at the same time. Have them in your inventory at the same time. They don't. It's not like you can't buy potions while you have your um, corrupting potion. So that helps with sustain and lane like big time. I mean, uh, this isn't a snowbally page, but it's it's just a. Um, experiment really so um anyway let's finish this video up. i want to finish this and then now uh, i gotta go to work so uh again overheal or triumph i think in this case but this is more reliable than than triumph and then legend alacrity or well you can go down here coop to grace um i think it's dodge these for this because you've got precision and just secondary dodge these three go to the bottom three because they're all interchangeable you can use this for um you know snowballing or versing tanks or if you're versing like fight, fighting style champions, you might want to take last stand. So, for example, we'll take Coup de Grace right now. And then we've got Overheal. So we've got Overheal and, and Coup de Grace. Now, I think it's just all experimental, right, guys? I mean, this may not be the best page for Aurelia, but it's just, you know, it's all about experimenting at the moment. Um, personally, I th I'm th thinking uh, this page is going to be your standard um, along with this page here. With the resolve, I feel like this might be more standard than the other one because this just gives you the sustain that you need as a relia to get through the uh, first few levels, especially versing like a, a strong uh, early champion, uh, and then you know eventually you get to uh, get a scale with the, the damage right and your triforce. Uh, try out lethal tempo. Uh, I think it's quite good. It gives you a really really strong level one, well level one level two and three, especially if you're able to stun and then activate your W. That gives you a really strong level three. So give it a go. It is it is kind of worth it. It's more for an on hit build, um, especially versing tanks. Um, you know, give it a go. Try it out. Try all these runes out. Let me know what you think. These are what I think is are the best for now. But things might change. Things are going to get nerfed, and we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you there, and thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Yeah. yeah.